Well, yeah, as you all can see, this is an island surrounded by more islands and water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, and the Japan mirror is like, yeah, crazy on this map. So I think if they can't hear me, you have to do something like a solo or something like that, because, yeah, just try yeah, to right. like okay, I can. try to fix something. Yeah, I can do that. So currently Ghost uh, and Haza are scouting with the orchard while collecting the buffaloes, which are on this map, you can just take and it gives a nice uh, boost for the shrines. And uh, they both start with a consulate, which indicates pretty standard play with, uh, they will ally with the ports to get cheaper buildings. And Hazard already goes for the first berry upgrade in the market, while Ghost didn't build a market. That's already the first deviation. Okay. So apparently, they can hear me, so... Okay, that's nice. Yeah. So that's... Oh, so I'm... Yeah. <laughs> that's better. You're back. Yeah, I'm back. Hello there. <laughs> All right. So, so we have indeed uh, the Invitational of Sites, New Year's Invitational. So, yeah, that's going to be very nice indeed. And it is... Hadza versus Ghost, round of eight, and uh, Japan Mirror on Indonesia. So Indonesia. we have quite all this thing up. So a little bit of cow herding and something like that. Uh, they bring the cows to where they want. They are actually yaks. So, <laughs> and we for me they are buffaloes. It's water buffaloes for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that is. Look at here the water buffalo guy. Very nice. <laughs> I am the water buffalo guy apparently. Ah, you are. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it is a nice thing to be, actually. So there we had a little bit of a treasure contention and Ghost yeah. got it. Ghost got 65 coins. That's, yeah, that's nice. I mean, it's, it's always something you get and the other guys didn't, so. Yeah, I, I think there aren't any top tier treasures. We got some 80 coin there. Yeah, that would be nice, actually. Yeah. Some low wood treasure. Yeah, 35 wood, meh, <laughs> meh, yeah, yeah, you never know, you can use that for sure. So, actually, we could try and have a peek on the deck, death. so what do you think about Hadza deck? So he has a little bit of both things going on, three yeah, boat he's, cards. Yeah, he's not gonna commit to water fully, he's just trying to contest it if Ghost goes on water. Yeah, and he goes with the shrine, uh, he goes with the Toshugo shrine, actually, so... He's already aging up, and so is Hadza. So, ghost aging, Hadza aging. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and also both uh, started with the three boats instead of the heavenly kami. Yeah, I mean, that can boost you pretty much. I mean, yeah, it's basically three villagers that are faster, I think. Are they faster? I don't know. <laughs> what? Yeah, boats, do, do they gather food faster than... They do them villagers on berries, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> we shouldn't know, go into the details, we don't know. Cast. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Ghost going for this 35 boot <laughs> actually, so yeah. Which does practically nothing, but... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, I, come on, it's, it's basically, yeah, if you ha don't have Kami, it's basically a little bit more than a third of a shrine, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's but it just right. came from playing a Japan game and those treasures I barely saw improving anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be an issue, but yeah, you never know. The interesting so, uh, thing about the Japan mirror is the, the shrine contest. Yeah, so we see that currently we are even. Ghost has 50 shrine pop and has a 50 pop, so yeah. Pretty Both to 60 now. <laughs> exciting Japan thing going on here. So yeah, it's, I chop, think chop it's basically like a, like a Brit mirror, but uh, with shrines. Yeah, exactly. And less villagers going on and something like that. Yeah, just Japan things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, Ghost is Explorer. I got your hunts. It's, he's called I Got Your Hunts. Nice guy, but he's <laughs> almost dying. 98 HP left, so... 
Mm -hmm. He's gonna be in. Ha have to pay attention if, for, on that guy. What they could do is actually, yeah, they could go there with the explorer or here and do some plants there. Would be pretty safe, I guess, but... Yeah, that's an option always. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they could do it, but <laughs> they probably won't. Uh, because the, the, the ship guy there is fishing off for both players, so... Yeah, and Carter's first shipment is 600 wood, to yeah. no surprise. Yeah, and it actually comes in a little bit, I mean, faster than uh, Ghost shipment. Yeah, because uh, Hazard had um, more XP through the market building. Ah, okay, yeah, that's something I missed. He had a market already. So and so he's got a little edge in technology also. Yeah, exactly. He's already researching the thing that gives you every resource and... Yeah, it boosts everything, any gather rate. Completed and he has the second cherry upgrade already. That is, yeah, I mean, pretty fast. Very nice. And also he's, he's uh, terminating the alliance with Portuguese. Yeah, so he's gonna be going for Japan pretty soon, I guess. Yeah, I think there's... Yeah, Japan. Also four villagers coming in? For Hazard? Four villagers, very nice. Yeah, there he is. Already four yeah. villagers. I mean... Both players don't really expect some hard pressure. Yeah, and 30 seconds later, four villagers, four goats, so they are pretty much doing the same thing. Which yeah, and first units are contesting the shrines. Yeah, exactly. They have, will take a little while to take them down, actually. And we have Ghost going for 5 Ashigarus there, so it's yeah, not thing is, units, uh, but Ashigarus. Thing is, I think uh, Heza went for the Yumi in anticipation of Ashis. Yeah, and I mean, he has to chop wood for shrines and Yumi, so that's basically nice. In the meantime, um, Ghost has to chop wood for shrines, and then has to chop gold for Ashigarus, so... Yeah, but he doesn't chop wood at all right now. Yeah, he does not anymore. So, and actually, the shrine pop of Ghost is ahead. He has two more shrines. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Very nice, actually. We will see how it works out. Yeah. Until now, there's not really a water contention. Everybody's relying on the boats they sent. Yeah. And they do not, did not send, at least Hazard did, did not send the fishing boats from the consulate. Ah, right, Ghost and did. I think Ghost I did, think. yeah, Ghost did. There it is, exactly. So, oh, did he? One, two, three? Yeah, there is a six minutes, 34, he has like five boats, something like that. But five isn't exactly the number you... No, he should have to like <laughs> six, but he has no dog either, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's awkward. <laughs> Maybe it got nerfed, I don't know if it got nerfed on EP. Actually, I, I do not know these things, so I shouldn't talk about it. <laughs> Actually, this, this game was made for Chrissy. Two Japan players on Indonesia. Yeah. <laughs> He couldn't cast today, so <laughs> yeah. that would make him sad. In the meantime, Hazard taking down all the some shrines there, some shrines. And also, he killed the monk. Touch me and I disappear. Hmm, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ghost has a I steal your hand and a touch me and I disappear, Ghost uh, monk. So that's very nice. And he's still full of Shigaru, while yeah. Uh, yeah, Hadza has already, uh, let's see, the, uh, 4 Yamabushi and 25 Yumi archers on the map, while Ghost is pitching down some shrine with, with 20 cigars in total. Oh, and also Ghost is aging up right now. Yeah, that's I didn't see that. something I did see just now, and yeah, Hadza has the resources to do a job, and did click it really now, so... Hadza has uh, a nice military advantage and will age up later, like mm, so 30 seconds later, so yeah. But both Fine are aging those. up with the pavilion. Yeah, the golden pavilion. There's of course the wonder that boosts your own units very nicely, <laughs> so <laughs> makes 
strong units even stronger. And here it probably just makes sense. No! This is something that Ghost does not want to happen, basically, because he has already a little bit of a military disadvantage, and now he's aged up. So, yeah, I don't know. He's probably and he's not paying the first upgrade for us Ashes. Yeah, exactly. In the meantime, but I don't those, think that these young Mamushi guys are taking down the shrines all over the map. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Yeah. I don't think Ghost should commit to no, Ashigarus should... here. Yeah, he actually should meet some Nagis or something like that. He has the Naginata shipment available though. Exactly. Yeah, but uh, at some, some point, if the mass of Yumi grow too big, uh, Naginata, yeah. especially five Naginata, can't do anything. Yeah, basically they die, or a lot of them die before, so... Before they even reach them. Yeah, and it seems that Ghost is committing. He even shipped eight, uh, eight Ashigaru, so... He's committing to the full Ashigaru build here. Yeah, but he's going to take a fight he should not take right now. Yeah, I think I can agree with you because, I mean, there are more Yumis uh, than Ashigaru, so that could be an issue in the first place. And then yeah. the, military the whole military unit is counting. like 15 ahead. Yeah. Or, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, what do you see here? Hadza will be. Yeah, he's retreating, going back to his base. He could push, actually, but he, of course, does not know that because he does not know what the whole military council shows. And he yeah. wants to go for the safe place, probably. But but he sees the, the score, so he knows he's yeah. fairly in a yeah. good position. Exactly. So he knows he's around, uh, yeah, 33, 31 points ahead. So in the meantime, yeah, if we take a, out of the we take a look goal, on the... So Oh yeah, we take a look on the shrine population. For ghosts, it's all it's just 120. Yeah, it drops a lot because uh, yeah. Hadza did kill uh, a lot of ghost shrines and then his own epic place. So and now we have yeah. upgraded Yumis and two flaming arrows being shipped for Hadza. So this is gonna be go time for Hadza, I will I would say. Yeah. Because yeah, he knows where his opponent is. He can corner him now. Yeah. And there is a stable actually out for Ghost and the five Naginata shipments. So 10 Naginatas, oh, wow. 15 Naginatas already on the field for uh, for Ghost right now. And they are so about to be upgraded. Yeah. Ah, even that. So tech reserves. And also Japan yeah, consulate. Right. Pretty Going late. Going up for uh, veteran. Yeah, and now Naginata. Ghost but may now have the edge ready. Right, yeah, uh, it is the right that uh, Ghost could... But of course, Hazard is a good player, he can micro this. Yeah, and this is something that if those, <laughs> those arrows get caught by the Naginata, but... Yeah, he's leaving the Ashes. Yeah, that's really hard. Yeah, this is a fight that that's going that way for Hazard. Yeah, he needs to micro a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I think he mixed up his control groups there. Yeah, that's something that... And he lost a huge loss here. I mean, he's yep. remaining with 40 Yumi and there are still 11 Naginada on the field. With 23 Dashigarus. Oh, but we missed that Hazard's actually open. Ah, lol! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I mean... Yeah, he will be sad about losing all his army, but... Another nice thing is that uh, Ghost is actually basically caught, so... Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Hatha is replacing his units pretty fast now. 15 guys on the field, he's gonna poke down, shoot in in some of the Naginadas. And oh, all these villagers will have to run because they are very scared about all that cavalry coming in. And yeah, there are the two. Uh, some going down. And I wanna yeah. watch the He has to retreat. Closer. He's he's too close to the military buildings. So in that fight or in total, Ghost did lose 21 Ashis and 8 Naginadas. And Hadza did lose 31 Yumis and 18 Ashigarus with two flaming arrows. So 
Yeah, that fight did hurt for us. The buddy is now up in the industrial age. And, and also uh, his economic population is higher. Yeah, that is for sure. I mean, I they recalculated have, even more. Yeah, I don't have the recalculated one on, so. He's yeah, like this 30 minutes ahead. Is gonna, is gonna make the difference in this. Mr. Mazume. Mazamune, who would be called? <laughs> Mazamune, so... Daimyo Mazamune. Exactly. So, yeah, basically, Ghost did make the right call. I mean, he saw that he won a fight pretty decisively, and he saw that shortly after he had the age. So, the right call is, I, I should have to poke in his face and see what can I do. And he did it, and was pushed back in the end. So, but it was the right goal, in my opinion. So yeah, I think Hazard shouldn't have lost his army while aging. He shouldn't have pushed yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah, that could be it. But he saw that he was uh, pretty ahead and got surprised by these 15 Naginatas. That, yeah. yeah, those are pretty good. But it's basically the noob uh, mistake I also do frequently. I'm aging and pushing at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you telling that? And this pop of four flaming arrows with the dime joy is basically, yeah. I mean, come on. He had them in his pocket and. <laughs> yeah, and this push could actually be pretty scary now. Or... But Ghost isn't isn't that uh, surprised. He, he collects his army in the back, not wasting anything. Yeah, exactly. That's smart. I mean, the defensive position is. is Sound and fire and. Uh, the Naginadas, reinforcement very close, but even so, I mean, Hazard is doing a pretty smart thing. He's waiting with his millions of flaming arrows and just slowly, slowly taking down the infrastructure of Ghost, which is yeah. pretty smart. <sighs> so yeah, and this reflects also in the score. Yeah, 280 score for Hazza and 212 score for Ghost. And apparently Ghost has something coming. I don't know why he would attack otherwise. Yeah, check would be the case. It could be also the case though that he is very pressed very nice. But I think as I missed uh, to upgrade his units, he's made sure but doesn't have honored Ashigarus. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But then, he is in the fourth age now, and uh, yeah, Ghost is... Yeah, he is one, is I think. Yeah, and it's not, it's not, Ghost is not even close to age up to the fourth age. And Ghost, at that moment, has lost a huge loss of his army. So, the tech advantage, even if it's not yeah. here and at the GG's moment... Yeah, called. Yeah, that is. Yeah, we had a nice game, though. I, I mean, that fight from, uh, from Ghost went really well, in my opinion. I mean, if we have a quick look at the post game, and yep. we go to military unit count, you see the drop, the huge drop of green. From 59, he goes down to 19. I mean, that was pretty nice. And yeah, with that, he closed the gap uh, from before a little bit, but then he slipped off a little. Yeah, I mean, then he was kind of hot and couldn't train new units, isn't it? And then, yeah. yeah. The shit thing happened there. <laughs> so, well, first game goes to Hadza, actually. So, let me try and write a one there. There he is, so I don't, I don't have to do it in the next game. And we go in for the next game that will be Bonnie Springs. So, nice. The poll actually closed when we started streaming the first game, so you can still vote if that makes you happy, but it's no sense. I did write down <laughs> which map to replay, so... Yeah, nice game, though. I did like it. Yes. So... Sorry if I'm typing very aggressively, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's nice. If you can do that, why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bonnie Springs. Is there any safe restriction right now? Uh, 
Yeah, well, uh, the players cannot play in the same civilization twice, but Hadza has to pick first. And he goes for Iro Keys. Or Iro Keys. Iro Iro Keys. Oh, Iro Keys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. I don't know. Everybody pronounces it a little bit different. I try to listen to the, I don't know, to the American talking or British speaking guys, but yeah. <laughs> All right, but uh, <laughs> Iroquois is a really weird choice for EP because they got nerfed so much and people don't even yeah. anticipate uh, the opponents going Iroqu Iroquois anymore. Yeah, so that could be an element of surprise. <laughs> Maybe people do yeah. not know what to do against them. So that could that be, also. we don't know. <laughs> and everybody thinks they are too bad to be played right now, but... Players like Haza won't do this without a plan. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, I'm looking forward to see what his plan is here, but it could be. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm guessing so well. he wants to, to fill the gap because he, he, wants, he, he was stripped uh, yeah. of some food and starting wood crates. He wants to fill that up with treasures. Yeah, that could be. So we have, we think we have Iroquois or Iroquesen, whatever, versus France, <laughs> uh, La Grande Nation. <laughs> La Grande Nation. Yeah, and his explorer. Oh, I actually, I actually had a Spanish, Spanish thing. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it seems that Ghost is not so sure about that. We will see, we will see. So in the yeah, meantime, maybe. chat can say how the quality is and something like that. So you can uh, be naggers and something like that. Just say what you want. In I go for the introduction. Huh? I have a nice little thing wrote down. So ladies and gentlemen, I have to say welcome back to another Inside Studio production. We will be casting the Inside Studio New Year's Invitational round of eight between Ghost, 007, and Adza. Five, four, three, two, one. This map is Bonnie Springs. It does look very nice. And we have, of course, Adza playing Iroqua in orange on the downside of the map. And in the north of the map, we have Ghost in purple playing France. And I am here, middle, joined by Jesus, my savior. Well, How hi. are you, Jesus? I'm fine, but I think it's not about me right now. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so, always yeah, about yeah. Jesus. Come on, be serious. <laughs> oh, okay, T to be honest, I can just talk about myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what do you think about this matchup, actually? Yeah, to be honest, it's I sh it should, have, uh, should be very France favored on EP. Yeah. Even though that uh, France is nerfed uh, themselves. Yeah, because of it was stripped by one two crate. Yeah, exactly. And I said I'm a, I'm a bad Quart. player. I always call for that. <laughs> <laughs> I always, no. <laughs> I, I, I think Iroqua was stripped uh, either 100 wood and 200 food or the other way around. Yeah, that could be a thing. And here we have Hadza already multiplying the. Ooh, he lost the treasure though, and he loses. He does not manage to kill the Kree scouts here. So yeah, but scouts. to be honest, he's he's trying to prevent the uh, explorer from getting a TP later on. Yeah, that could be too. That is that's, that's that could be very smart actually, because yeah, of course France does like his TPs. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, he's bashing this poor French ghost guy and. Yeah, well, <laughs> and the horse guy is hunting down the, the, the explorer. <laughs> oh, come on, no, he's dead. <laughs> ah, and the common, the common yeah. general got this. <laughs> ah, I mean, that is something that it always happens to me, but I am an Anub, so yeah, <laughs> it does not count. But it's something yeah, that the, the they don't want to happen, actually, because this bonus of time, extra line of sight, can be very, very nice. I mean, you can... Yeah, you can scout the map so much quicker. That's 
Whoa. Especially happen. with uh, Iroquois, and uh, he doesn't know what Heather's gonna do. Yeah, actually, and now he's gonna have so much less insights, no? Isn't it? And the fact yeah, that Hadza did push him back the whole way to his, to his town center. So basically, Ghost didn't see half of the map, in my opinion. So yeah, he just went straight to to Hazard's base and back. Yeah, something like that. But in the meantime, but he's catching up, exploring, yeah. so he's going for a nice six treasure, and well, Hadza already at six hundred seventy. So he's gonna be aging before Ghost, and if he chooses to age up with the fast age up option, if, the, if that's still a thing, then yeah, yeah, it is. Hurt. I'm not sure about it though, because he hasn't got a shipment ready. Yeah, and he's aging up, and it seems he's aging up with normal speed. So hmm. yeah, that doesn't look too fast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> problem is I don't know <laughs> how the politician is called for the fast age up. So. The wise woman. The wise woman. So I could basically check that actually if I did know how. But yeah, never mind. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> being researched. There it is. And wise woman. Okay, so wise woman isn't the fast thing. Yeah, otherwise he would have been yeah, aged up. Yeah, already has been up. And there it is. Nice choice, actually. Uh, another brand new explorer for our ghost friend. Yeah, so, that's nice. And this one is a what? Paiute scout. So it's not a crow, yeah. it's a Paiute. It's the same thing, basically, but yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. Also, we haven't checked the decks yet. Yeah, we haven't, because everyone, every time I click on it, there is a little bit of lag. <laughs> ah, all right. Like yeah, but then we see, yeah, what do we see? Conservative Ghost tactics. has a pretty H2 heavy uh, deck. Oh, a lot of resources, but well, yeah, yeah. He, he expects a push from Iro Iroquois. Yeah, I mean, with the 700 food, he can train some additional units, and eight bows and three hussar are basically, I think, standard for France decks. Yeah. And he's. Going for the TP, so yeah. Nice. Interestingly enough, uh, Hazard's going for a TP line semi FF, I think. Yeah, that could be the case. There are two TPs being so, hmm. yeah. So, what can we expect? We have a forward a war war coming up, yeah, exactly. A forward, very forward Savoie for uh, yep. the Irocas, he, is, he has deleted it though, he was scared that uh, the Paiute scout would uh, take down the Joa and something that you don't want to happen. No, actually he, he feared the Hussar pop or something from here more. Yeah, ah okay, <laughs> that could be the case too, yeah, but actually the stable isn't up yet, but you can't know that, I mean, yeah, usually you and can as rounds the uh, Yukchir Kerway, you you can train your first star <laughs> of five minutes and twenty, and they come out around six minutes. So he could have time for that. Yeah, but I think the the Kanya shipment is pretty late for an Iroquois, Iroquois. <laughs> yeah, and they had to cross the whole map because it came in before uh, the war had the war had was built. So, but he I will get a career. And the French have sent 700 wood first. 700 wood, exactly. So, there it is. 700 wood for Canyon. Text being resisted isn't demo. Makes all units. So, now I have my UI set up. Oh, I always miss a lot of time doing that. <laughs> but <laughs> I have to remember, oh, what do I need exactly? So, yeah. Yeah, well, all right. now. A uh, really nice military unit population already for uh, Hadza, and he's managing to take him down one Coureur de Bois, for sure one. The unit lost him, here it is. So two yeah, Ghost is actually pretty... Down. Ghost isn't in pain right now, he doesn't really have uh, a Rex or something, and yeah. the composition is not something he can take down with another fire for South. Yeah, and... He did, uh, actually he didn't send his, uh, his stars, so uh, he did get out only a pop of three hustlers. 
And that's yeah. something, yeah, he's not too happy about that. Uh, and this Rex might be too late. Two, okay, all the two hostiles going out. And, yeah, I mean, he's losing the stable for sure. And, yeah, well, the barracks next. Because, yeah, Hadza sees it now. But he still got the minute, man, so he has something to do. Exactly, and he still has 200 in the bank, but he will use that for houses, I guess. What's interesting is he didn't ship uh, 8 bows, but 4 villagers, so he was pretty confident that he can repel this push. Yeah, yeah, and actually Hadza is retreating here, so Hadza is yeah, starting and he resources for go up for, uh, for this early age, so Hadza is basically up. And yeah, well, Ghost oh, did ship the eight bows now. So, so Haza achieved what he wanted. Yeah, I think yeah. He delayed his uh, the, the age up of Ghost, forced him to yeah, ship eight, bo eight bows, and to train more units. So Ghost will not be up for the next one two minutes probably. Yeah, he he overcommitted in age two right now. Yeah, exactly. He could go up on some time, but uh, depends if Haza Haza pushes it or not. Uh, he won't push until he gets the first uh, forest prowler yeah. shipment, and then go in and uh, make uh, give musketeer riders. Yeah, it's basically an H three composition against an H two composition with expo instead of skirm. Yeah, exactly, and um, that's something you don't want, basically. Mm, nope. I mean, if you can play H2 versus H3, but you have to outnumber your opponent to do much to get uh, to even up the tech difference, the difference in tech. So yeah, and I think he's he doesn't really know what to do here. Yeah, I, I mean, smart thing would be go in base and uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he'll try to raid now. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to go up. He's stacking 800 food and. Uh, his 700 sh gold shipment uh, just came in, so he will be up. Yeah, in about a uh, short time he will be up. But then, yeah, it is laggy actually. But well, did you look at the deck again? No, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I didn't actually. <laughs> and his house got caught. Yeah, that's something he does not want to happen to. Well, I think Ghost is really motivated right now. Yeah, that could be. And the lag is actually... Whoa. Yeah, it's, it's lagging pretty hard. Maybe pause this. Yeah. Mm. So, my well, connection pause? is... No, I didn't. It's not paused either. So, it's just a really, really little bad lag at the moment. It's a really nice lag spike. So, you can pause yeah. if you want. <laughs> Uh, how is your connection? Your connection is fine, right? It's stable. So mine too, I mean, I, I don't have wireless or something like that. All right, so let's pause this. Yeah, let's pause for uh, 30 seconds, something like that. So. Yes. Uh, do I have to write something like yes. this? Yes. Huh? Nah. Can they read me or? If you, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So my connection is fine, eh, basically. So uh, I usually do not have issues, and yeah, I hope we can get that fixed. So. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, and I don't have anything open besides the stream, of course, so... It could be my laptop. That's pretty hot right now. That's <laughs> go, bad. On, go outside. <laughs> <laughs> Cast on the balcony. <laughs> go and freeze. <laughs> No, no, it's actually, actually only at, at 60% of, of the... Ready? Yeah, no, that's not... Should be all right. Yes. So, hope, we hope that's all uh, set now. You have to unpause. <laughs> yes. 
Oh boy, even the unpausing legs. Oh, come <laughs> on. That's kind of, that's very nice. That's very not nice. Oh boy. Yeah, that this is this is like unplayable actually. Yeah. Yes. I don't really know what's going on. It yeah. shouldn't be my my laptop. In any other stream I I partook in, I was not the cause of lag. Yeah, no, me neither. And I mean, the stream around around, uh, around fine and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, it could be easy actually. It could be that when we go out, uh, we go back, now it's so better. Yeah, now it's fine. Yeah, let's hope it uh, it does not lag during the fight, so the player can uh, micro. So because that's always annoying. That there is a massive uh, like uh, a click lag or something yeah. like that. So, yeah. So uh, well, going back to the game, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We all when we cast Age of Empires, we always spend too much time on talking about lag, and you are absolutely right. So here, uh, as that smartly trying to take down the house of ghosts because yeah, if he is pop. Old Knight H3 shipment. Also got some pretty intimidating. Uh, Forest Prowler and But very and smartly Ghost mixed with the, He's very smartly mixed with the good at the point that fight for that. Yeah, but at this point it's it's a little desperate I think. Yeah it can buy your time and it can help, but it's a military difference. I mean it's really nice. It's just very hard. And also his last hunt is still here. Yeah, so he's not getting anything. Uh, we did it, so. But it's yeah. yeah, well there is Yeah, look, look at that, so this is not out of here. Yeah, I mean already five for everyone now. More dying. We can really yeah. GG's are I'm sorry we didn't uh, focus that much on the last half. Yeah, we had to. Yeah, well, actually, the last half was uh, around uh, one minute pause and one minute game. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's yeah. have a quick look at the uh, post game. I always like to look the military unit counts, and you see when they are actually going in the fight around here, Hadza has almost double, almost double. The military unit count of um, ghosts. The so thing is, uh, at 555, where Haza has the most military early on and pushes yeah. and draws back, then you see uh, it's followed by a military boost of ghosts, and this is yeah. where he lost, I think. Yeah, he should have pushed, but actually, he always, yeah, I mean, he saw. No, he actually should have aged up. <laughs> yeah, he, he did that. I mean, he did that late because he saw he shipped the eight bows. And yeah, then and that realized, was a mistake, I think. Then realized it, then Hadza was throwing his army back. So, yeah, that could happen. Yeah. So, let's go for another game then. Yeah, it was as well as a good uh, strategy by Hadza. Letting the opponent think that he's going to commit to colonial push and then age up. Yeah, exactly. That that's, was pretty smart. Even, even, I mean, with the forward drags and stuff like that, you think automatically for a, yeah, something like, uh, I don't know, Colonial or something, but then two TPs. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I saw this build today. He practiced it uh, against yeah. some other guys and me. So, Ghost first pick, and uh, Arizona is the map. All right, and we go in the third game, and Hadza is up 2 0 in the series. So, so I guess it's uh, match ball. It's match game for Hadza, actually. Exactly. Do you so, also say match ball in English? I don't know. I don't know. I <laughs> do know what balls are, but I don't know if this is match related. ball. It's like the <laughs> the last game. Yeah, yeah, potentially. I know what you mean. Yeah, I don't know actually. Um, yeah, I know what <laughs> you mean though. <laughs> All right. 
So, so they are still not permitted to take uh, the last two sieves they played? Exactly. So they have to change sieves and they can just reselect one plate if the end if there is a tie breaking game. Uh, ah, so that's no. Oh. No, it's not a tie breaking. <laughs> I mean Ah tie breaker is the, is the fifth game, all right. Yeah, so exactly, right. exactly, exactly like that. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So well, Hadza did pretty nice in this game. It was um, very convincing. I mean, in the first game, I thought, "Whoa!" I mean, the fight of ghosts was very, very, very well done. I mean, I, I actually took thought he could have taken it. So. Yeah, but first game, the everything besides the one fight wasn't even Hadza pulled away very fast. Yeah. And it's just, I think, overall a little bit better. Yeah, exactly. So he is going for Brits, but I don't know if he has clicked in. Isn't it uh, Hazard's turn again to No, lock because in uh, it's alternating. It's alternating. Ah, okay. So it's Russia against Brits here. So he's going for Brits and uh, versus Russia. So yeah, I mean Russia is one of Hadza's favorite civilizations. So I think he is yeah. going. He wants oh, I'm missing. Oh. to add <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, we all. I mean, people are waiting for Jesus for like two thousand years. If they wait a few seconds more, <laughs> it, <laughs> it basically does not matter. But then we have to do the introduction, Jesus. Let's do it. Ladies That's and it. gentlemen, on. welcome back to another Inside Studio production. <laughs> Today round we have three. <laughs> yeah, the round, of the round of eight of the Inside New Year's Invitational. We have, of course, Hadza versus Ghost 007. I am your faithfully need half, and I'm here. I'm with your Jesus. Lord and Savior, Jesus the Third. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jesus the Third, our Savior. So what do we have? We have, of course, Arizona, and in the top of the map, in the color red, we have Ghost 007 with British. And in the bottom of the map, Hadza 54221 going for Russia in the color blue. So Yeah, this map is uh, divided by a TP line of four TPs. Exactly. So And they have to eventually move out, even if they don't take the line, because they need for they only have like this like two or three hunts near to them but the gold yeah, mines exactly. are uh, more far away yeah and the hunts uh, if you are as we talk like that are pretty fair pretty fair i mean that's you can't wish for better i mean yeah thank you God, very yeah. very even so for casting purpose it's not bad and the gold mines actually even even the gold mines not bad third mine a little bit better maybe for Hadza because it's here and the third mine for uh, no it would actually be both one so pretty even yeah very nice map and did we have some treasure contentions yes uh, I, don't uh, I don't think so they, they just had a little skirmish by passing by <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I shoot you no I shoot you and there we go 70 XP and then they goes. agreed on not continuing <laughs> exactly and this is something that could yep. interest Hadza actually yeah, and he's going for it. So it's I actually huge if he gets it. Though. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, huge. It's pretty nice. Yeah, and already we have a little bit of lag already. But we do not talk of lag anymore. It's not my problem and not your problem <laughs> <laughs> because we we surely do not lag. So yeah. Well, seventy-five wood for Hadz. I mean, he will chop less wood for his blockout then. I guess. <laughs> Yep. How how come you uh, have one point and I have zero points? That's not fair. Come on. Why is that? Because I'm Japan and I've got export. Ah, you're cheating. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking cheating castles. Ah, uh, that's that's not uh, that's not how it's supposed to be. Three seconds. All right, maybe. Coming. And maybe they see each other again and decide to have another skirmish. Yeah, maybe because Hadza is actually going for the fifty wood treasure and. Ghost did see it, and it's yeah. going sneaky around the woods. Oh! But Hazard knows this. Yeah, Hazard do, does know. And let's see, let's see for. Oh, crack shot! 
I am uh, very close, but the right ghost, yeah, got, ghost it. got it. But he had to use his track shot, and now he's shooting the Hazaroth in the back. That's very, very not. Mm, that's not fair. Come on. Hazar going for uh, the Wood Trickle as first shipment. So, and aging up already. Yeah, Russia aging up before Brits. So. That's actually very good for him. Yeah, exactly. He does a 14 villager Aja, pretty standard. Yeah, going for a market already. He will research all his hunting dog and research stuff. So And Ghost ages up with the 500 food, I believe. 500 food. So we will see that. Yeah. <laughs> Text being researched. So it is the... It's philosopher like the Philosopher's Ghost. Prince. Is exactly. And the yeah, I think that's the... It's of course the 400 food guy, so... Yeah. That's pretty nice. And the Russian deck doesn't indicate any ATP. Nah, but it does indicate me that these two villagers are gonna do some very, very aggressive stuff. Yeah, he's he's gonna do, he's gonna pressure the yeah next hunts and gold mine. Yeah, and he did shoot the bison once, and uh, and then yeah, he does not want to kill it because he would give away the position of his forward base all immediately. Because, yeah, I mean, yeah. if you see a dead animal that you didn't shoot near your base, guys, that is a sign that you are being rushed, probably. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, but it's actually very critical for Brits. If they got starved off the hunt, yeah, uh, it's huge. Brits yeah, are I very mean, food dependent. Exactly, they need a lot of food because they want all the villagers out, they want their musketeers. And they eat up very, very quick because they have a lot of villagers very fast. So, yeah. Good thing is, Ghost uh, has heard it pretty good, pretty well. Yeah, he has he actually two hunts in his base, very, very and close to the town center. But and as I suspected, he's go he went for the 500 food age up so that they can uh, make a five for Sal badge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's. That would be nice, and Hussars are actually, yeah, good against Russia, because Russian Musketeers aren't that bad, I don't know, they aren't very good, so yeah, Hussars also, are a good choice. The five Cossacks come out? Yeah, exactly. And get the first villager? Yeah, they pass by, yeah, and now they see it, <laughs> so, and ciao villagers, one more villager dead, so... And I wanted to point out that this is very smart. He's observing the next hunt. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, yeah, that's smart. Ah, oh, nice, nice point there. Very nice. Yeah, so he will see when Ghost is start working on this hunt here. So Good. yeah, yeah, exactly. So he can ride there and. Uh, and this is pretty down. risky too. Yeah, and. What we see, Hussars are getting caught. Exactly, uh, Cossacks, exactly. I mean. Don't want to miss getting that. caught by the hussars and musketeers come and help out. So, one, two hussars die. Yeah, that's sure. and yeah, very nice. Ghost is in a pretty bad position right now. Pretty bad already. <laughs> yeah, he's basically lost uh, three of his five first hussars. Yeah, and he has no ranks. And, and uh, yeah, well, I don't know how he's gonna. Yeah, and Hatha is actually sieging down the house, because British usually do have a lot of them, but it's not the case already. Going yeah, early on, on it's, it's viable to to get those houses. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, at this point, it's fine, because, yeah, if it goes down, he has only seven top space left at the moment. Yeah, and also it, it provides using. a solid line of sight, and yeah, yeah, Hatha wants to surprise if possible. Yeah, that's true. So now Hazza has decided to go for the base of Ghost. Yeah, he wants to poke a little and bit, maybe get one villagers, more villager. One down. Let's see the unit lost thing. Unit lost here. Yeah, and I believe he will draw back as soon as he sees the Rex. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I mean this town center fight does hurt him. I yep. Mean, it's something you don't want to face. And poking in, poking out. Maybe getting another villager, but yeah, Ghost but is effectively he's just trying to stop so him. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. He doesn't want to commit there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
So, poking around this space, probably always having a watchful eye on these hunts that he has scouted to see when he can pressure. But the British guy, I mean, he still has a lot of hunts left in his base, so... Yeah, and has a continuing that. map control. Yeah, exactly. A nice blockhouse on this side, controlling this gold mine, this hunt. In the meantime, he's going for a stable two. So yep. maybe he's worried of longbowmans and or just to body block the hussars. So yes, he's got to contest the hussars because hussars hurt Russia so much in H2. Yeah, exactly. And it did lag a little bit because I did check the deck and he has 13 <laughs> strelats that has still to be sent and four Cossacks that he still can send. So pretty nice. He has gone for five Cossack first shipments and then seven on boots, seven on gold, of course, to catch up in economy and to get down trading posts, to get his infrastructure going. And now he can train a lot of units. So to see that, we and have- And now is go time. No units in queue <laughs> for Russia. Yeah. Go time for Hazard. Yeah, 13 Stettler, uh, Strelitz arrived. And look at this military count, I mean. And why does it lag again? <laughs> yeah, because he has too much units. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that could be the case. I don't know. One of one connection of the guys does not handle this. And yeah. The thing is, uh, Heza pushes exactly there where the leftover hunt is. Yeah. He's smartly doing that. And uh, yeah, sieging down the racks and Ghost will not be ab able to contest this army so far, so... No, it's, we'll see. Yeah, not yet it is. I he mean, still got his Minutemen, and yeah. if he's got a 5 for Sarabetch and Haza stays too long under his TC, maybe... Yeah, but the batch that came oh, out are just yeah. Ghost Tower now, and yeah. I think this could be over soon. Yeah, it could be, it could be actually. I mean, there is, you are absolutely right, there is the Minuteman pop. There are no six musketeers anymore because he shipped that. And look at this, I mean, he's forced on berries now. It's a for yeah. short period of time. Oh, again. Yeah, we should probably oh, boy, again, that's... maybe. Yeah, it's because uh, 600 wood came, I mean, uh, wood, uh, <laughs> lags, wood lags. But that shouldn't that. be the cause for that. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that wood is Oh, but he missed a rally tier. The shipment point yeah yeah that did cost him a little bit of villager seconds actually so something that can happen luckily uh ghost is not close so yeah not... he has to secure something a, a new yeah. hunt or something yeah he has actually to go and think about push out in the next few minutes because his in base hunt is running yeah out, and so... he's contesting the the army right now yeah and there it is we have an engagement and we have yeah smartly going back he sees that he cannot fight this yet so yeah going for another rex and probably Hadza is going to siege that town too so i think uh this is over right now too many cossacks yeah i mean they could die pretty fast here because yeah i mean they are cossacks there is no boyars now, so... And if the Minutemen should pop, then now. Yeah, they would help a real lot, but... Yeah, he has the resources to pop. Yeah, that's, I that's think, GG, I think. Yeah. It is over, exactly. He was starved off our oh, Minutemen way too late. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, if they pop... When you, your army is basically dead, they, they just die. They do not. Yeah, and, do and now even Boyars, the, the yeah, strengthening exactly. card for Russia. Boyars coming in. Came and in. Once this whole army is gone, we will see the resign. Yeah. And Maybe even before that. Yep. Well, so. well, we have indeed Hadza taking the third game in the row. So I update that. Let me update that to three. So Wait, this, this concludes the series, right? Yeah, this concludes the series. <laughs> so we do actually take a look at the post game really fast. Although, I mean, if we see, what do we, huh, all resources gathered, uh, I mean, 
this is something you don't want to happen, I guess, with Brit. He was outgager so, so very far. And it's because, I think because, I mean, uh, Russia was in base pretty early and he had to rally his villagers and he couldn't actually yeah. action gather. So, yeah. Brit is really prone to early pressure. Yeah, that is for sure. And if we see the military unit population, we see, uh, I mean, of course, Russian units are weaker, but it's, they have almost double. I mean, yeah, yeah. two thirds. And also they, they trade very cost efficiently. Yeah, exactly. So, so it, it hurts way, way more to lose a musketeer than two star strats, I think. Yeah, that's true. So, well, we have it. That was it from us, I guess. We should let the people go, huh? What do you think? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Yeah. Think about uh, visiting isocommunity.net. Exactly. And stay tuned with more of Round of Eight coming in from the yeah. Ezo Bless you, guys. Site. Bless you from Jesus. Thank you very much, my savior, to have casted with me. And yeah, I hope to cast with you pretty soon again. Was fun. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Okay. See you, Jesus.